that scan or Ioflupane I-123 scan by Sanjeev Bagga MD. That scan or Ioflupane Iodine-123 scan is done for striator dopamine transporter visualization with SPECT imaging. It helps in the evaluation of adult patients with suspected Parkinsonism syndromes. That scan is used to differentiate essential tremor from tremor due to idiopathic Parkinsonism disease, multiple system atrophy, and progressive supranuclear palsy. That scan is an adjunct to other diagnostic evaluations. Multiple medications interfere with that scan imaging. Some of them are enumerated as follows. Amoxapine, cocaine, amphetamine, benzotropine, mazindol, methamphetamine, methylphenidate, and many others. One hour before the administration of that scan agent, oral potassium iodide or Lugol's solution or 400 mg of potassium perchlorate is given to block uptake of iodine-123 by the patient's thyroid. That scan dose is 3 to 5 millicuries. The patient is encouraged to drink plenty of fluids and avoid urinary bladder frequently to reduce radiation exposure to the urinary bladder. SPECT imaging is done 3 to 6 hours after the that scan administration. The following two illustrations on the right demonstrate a normal DAD scan. The normal images are characterized by two symmetric comma or crescent-shaped focal regions of activity on both sides of the median plane. Striatal activity is distinct and separate from the surrounding brain tissue. The following three Images demonstrate abnormal DAT scan. The first image demonstrates activity in the putamen of the right hemisphere, which is absent or reduced as shown by the arrow. And activity is seen both the coordinate nuclei shown by lines. Next image, activity is absent in both the putamina as shown by lines and confined to the coordinate nuclei as shown by the arrows. In the third image, the activity is absent in both the putamen as shown by the lines and greatly reduced in coordinate nuclei as shown by the arrows. 